Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel and another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Now, those of you who are familiar with the channel will know that I'm not really one for counting frame rates and performance. 30 FPS has always been good enough for me in any flight simulator. But with the release of Sim Update 2 for Flight Sim 24, that might be about to change a little bit. Now, I run a, what I would call a very modest system. I have an RTX 3060 graphics card and 32 gig of RAM. So it's definitely not the highest spec PC for games like Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, but not the lowest either. The fact that I also stream at the same time with just a single PC as well when uh, flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator also means that I'm putting a lot of pressure on my GPU. So 30 FPS has always been absolutely fine for me and smooth enough. And I do constantly get questions from from people asking how do I get such a good performance and graphics quality out of my 3060 graphics card and I always tell them that you've just got to lower your graphics settings in order to get that smooth better FPS but at the same time there's a small part of me that wishes everything was better and smoother without having of course to upgrade the graphics card because they're not cheap. But like I said earlier, following Sim Update 2 for Flight Sim 24, new things have been added to the graphics settings, meaning that we can push our graphics cards further. And with a little bit of tweaking, I managed to go from this to this. Now, before you start thinking that I must have done something really complicated, let me assure you, I absolutely didn't. In fact, in order to do this, I'm going to show you what I did, and it's also going to be a very short video. And I've been running and testing these new settings purely on the Phoenix A320. It's the most common type of aircraft that I fly here on the channel, as you probably know, and it also is quite system heavy in terms of its resources. So what we're doing is basically utilizing the new AI frame generation. Now, I know immediately what you're thinking, probably the same as I was, and that is that you are going to see a loss of quality, especially on the sharpness of textures. So this is how my sim looked before Sim Update 2. Basically, no frame gen or anything, which in the Phoenix aircraft is uh, meaning it looks really good. Everything is nice and sharp and detailed, you can see as well. But obviously, as I'm moving around, you can see there's perhaps a little bit of uh, lag as we're just trying to struggle to hold the 30 FPS. That's absolutely fine, though. Um, one of the things with the Phoenix aircraft is they go all out in their textures. Even the screens are uh, made right down to the pixel. So it's kind of cool to try and keep the quality as much as we can. And as I say, this was prior to Sim Update 2. And anti-aliasing, I would use TAA. The moment you start to use something like the NVIDIA DLSS, um, it means that it's now using AI to produce those higher resolution frames. But even if you have the super resolution set to quality, you can see the moment we get back in, well, it's just not as clean anymore. Everything has a little bit of a blur to it. You can particularly see that on the FCU and the, uh, you know, the liquid crystal displays. It's not as sharp as it was without that. And even if we go back and change it to uh, either balanced or uh, performance, then you can see then that actually it looks even worse and if I just get a little bit closer up you'll uh, you'll be able to see that as well so this is what we don't want we don't want better frame rates but with a loss of quality quite honestly um, I, I don't like the primary flight display there uh, navigation display as well looking very very off I like the sharp textures even the ecam messages are also the no smoking parking brake TCAS standby they uh, they are not sharp so let's go back into these graphic settings and show you what sim update 2 has brought out anti-aliasing I'm gonna go back to as was um, and I'm gonna pop that to TAA and then what I'm gonna do is have a look at the new frame generation option now there is a bit of a caveat with this as you can see on the right hand side it says that uh, NVIDIA DLSS frame generation it boosts frame rates again using AI to add in the additional frames that however does require an RTX 40 series or higher I don't have that I only have a 30 series however underneath that you can see AMD FSR 3 frame generation and that is what I'm obviously going to uh, turn on again it uh, increases the frame rate 
it by creating additional frames. Now, if you are on a better graphics card than I am, you'll be able to multiply these frame rates by more than two. I'm stuck, obviously, with a multiplier of two, but the RTX 50 series, you can go as high as three or four. But this is where it gets really impressive, because with that turned on, you can see everything is looking nice and sharp again in terms of the textures. It's making absolutely no difference to how those look. However, the frame rates really have improved. I'm hoping you can actually see this uh, just as I'm moving around the uh, the flight deck. Um, but again, that is how at the start of the video, that frame rate really did improve. And obviously, all I did was turn on the new setting following Sim Update 2. Now, you may have also noticed a little warning when turning on AMD FSR 3, and that is Azobo warning us that it can actually cause some crashes on NVIDIA cards at the moment. This is something the team are looking into and hopefully will be fixed as soon as possible. They also do advise the upgrade to the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver as well. So have you guys had a chance to play with this year? Have you had a crash to the desktop? If you've turned this on, let me know how you've been getting on with the new frame gen option following the latest sim update and are you actually benefiting from it as well? Do let me know in the comments down below how you're getting on. Look forward to reading those as always. Remember, if you're purchasing products from the Contrail store, utilities, scenery, etc., make sure you use our special discount code, link in the video description down below. Also, don't forget to check out our channel partners, Inibuilds, for fantastic aircraft and quality airport scenery. Again, that link in the video description below when purchasing from them also does help support the channel, so massive thank you to all of you that use that. I hope you found the video useful and if you have please don't forget to leave a like and of course if you are new to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and live streams. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.